hello guys welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial today i'm going to be teaching you how to do page formatting in a very simple way now if you look at my screen right now if this is how you know how to do page formatting then you need to watch this tutorial because this is very very stressful like okay i have it here right now so the the general one that everybody know is this okay so for instance this book is 160 pages if i want to number this book i have to pick the last page and the first page then i continue in that manner so i have to say one 160 then go to page two and write two to the left and 159 to the right then three to the right and 150 hit to the left so as you can see it could be brain tasky and sometimes it could be very uh, difficult to do and the worst part of it is that if i have to add a page in the middle i have to start numbering again okay and uh, sometimes you may make mistake of where to put your number because um, if three is by the right then four is going to be by the left okay so that could be very difficult to do and another thing is that if you want to copy from microsoft to word you want to copy your book from microsoft to word you need to be copying page by page okay so if you don't have image on your document uh, it is easier to copy but if you have image on your document it is not easy to copy okay for instance if i want to copy this page of document with this image then i press ctrl c on my keyboard and go to my correct draw let me open another document okay so if i set this to a5 that document is a5 if i set it to a5 and paste so if i paste it is going to appear like this that simply means that i have to copy page by page just like this like this document that is about 160 pages that means I have to copy 160 times then uh the page formatting also I have to be very very sensitive with the page formatting but this method i want to teach you you don't need to copy then you don't need to do your page formatting like this okay trust me it is going to work as a book if you want to print your book okay so now let me delete this now if you are visiting this channel for the first time please subscribe to this channel turn on notification bell so that anytime i upload my video you are going to see the latest video that i will be uploading and if you are a returning subscriber i want to say thank you also please like this video all right so let's get started immediately so what you have to do first here is to go to your documents now we are not going to be copying page by page so when you go to your document, make sure your document is uh, well formatted and please make sure you add page number to your document. Then another thing you have to do is to set the page layout to A5, okay? So the page size should be A5 because in your current draw, you can see this. If this is A4, to the left you have A5, to the right you have A5 also. So if this is um, a landscape of A4. It will be two portraits of A5. So A5 portrait and A5 portrait to the right, okay? So when you're working in your Microsoft Word documents, make sure that you put it on A5, okay? Then another thing you have to do is the margin, okay? So go to custom margin, set it to 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75 to the left, and 0 0.75 to the right also so the top the bottom the left and the right should be 0 0.75 then click ok so this document is good to go okay so you can check other aspects of the document maybe there's a mistake or there's a blank page in between so you can check your document and make sure that your document is okay but the two things you have to remember is the page numbering and the margin okay so don't forget those two things so the next thing we have to do here is to save this document as pdf okay now if you are using microsoft word version that is below 2013 you may not be able to do this because 2007 version of microsoft word cannot do this you cannot save 
as PDF in Microsoft Word 2007, okay? But as for me, I'm using Microsoft Word 2019, so I can save as PDF, okay? So you go to File and click on Save As. Then you choose the location you want to save to, okay? But as for me, I want to save it on my desktop. So let me click on desktop. So I'm saving it to my desktop. The document name is a practical guide to PHP programming, okay? Then I'm choosing save as PDF, okay? So I'm saving this document as PDF. Then I click on save, okay? So this document has been successfully saved as PDF. You can see it in my browser right now. This is the Word document and this is the PDF version that is displayed in the browser, okay? So let me close this browser, okay? So if I go to my desktop, you can see it on my desktop. You can see a practical guide on my desktop as PDF. Now, the next step you are going to make is to go to your current draw, okay? So set this page to A5. This is a new document. Set it to A5. Don't forget we are working with A5. Then two of A5 is going to be on A4, okay? So that is our book size, okay? So set this to A5. Now, don't create any more page. Just create only one page. Only one page is okay for you. Correct draw will create the rest pages for you. Okay, now go to File and go to Open. We are going to import that PDF to Correct Draw. So I saved it on my desktop. Then this is it, a practical guide to PHP programming. So I'm going to click on it and click open okay so it will pop up this window do you want to import it as a text or you want to import it as course okay so if you import it as course you will not be able to edit it in the nearest future if you are familiar with correct draw you should know that you cannot edit a cut text but you import it as a text so that even if you want to edit it you can edit it okay now this document is is 101 okay so if i'm importing it takes time to import so i'm going to reduce this document to 50 okay so let me just import page 1 to 50 instead of importing page 1 to 101 so that we can save time okay 50 pages of this document is going to be imported so i click on okay all right it is important it may take time according to the number of pages in your document okay so that is why i had to reduce the number of pages i am importing to 50 so that we can save time okay now as you can see it has been fully imported then if you check here you can see page number one of 50. so in your home case if you are importing your document import everything I just reduce it to 50 because of the time it takes to import, okay? As you can see on this screen right now, you can see that it is well formatted and it created the 50 pages by itself. So you can see page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5 and so on. You can see that the images are there, nothing is lost and you, if you want to edit the text, you can see you can edit the text okay now you are going to be thinking oh how are we going to change this to a book format just continue watching this tutorial it is easy to do now after importing like this you can see the margins are set correctly now after importing like this it will change to custom okay you can remember that we change it to a5 but now it is in custom so go back and change it to a5 okay if you look at your screen there's no difference okay but just make sure it is on a5 now after changing it to a5 this is what you have to do just leave the way it is it should be in one one page like this okay not this traditional method that you know okay so let me go back now it should be like this then go to file or you can press ctrl p on your keyboard go to file and print okay now this is where we are going to do our settings but before we start doing our settings let us print preview so click on print preview when you click on print preview it will bring this for you but if you notice that 
this page is actually bigger than the one we have in the document but the document size remain the same but the page is bigger so that you can see that the borders are now wider so right here we are going to do our settings and do everything that has to do with book formatting here okay so let's go back to settings then you click on general okay so when you click on the settings and uh, click on general this dialog box is going to pop up for you now you are going to do all your settings here now if you are printing to a laser jet printer for instance you choose your printer from here your printer will appear here so you can choose your printer from here but for me i want to print to pdf okay in this tutorial beside it you are going to see preferences so click on preferences if you are using another version of correct draw you should see something similar just try and study the interface you should see something similar but as for me i'm using correct x7 okay so now you know that what we are printing should be a4 and it should be landscape because we are to have two portraits of a5 on a landscape of a4 okay so choose landscape then go to advance and choose paper size to be a4 okay then you click ok then click ok here now you can see that it is not taking effect yet it is not changing so to see the effect just click on apply so as you can see that uh, the, our setting has been applied now you can see that this is now a4 landscape okay but the problem here is that we are still having a5 portrait on a4 landscape so let's go to our settings go to layout and under layout go to imposition layout so under imposition layout click on it then you find many options there but choose booklet not book choose booklet okay then click apply so whatever changes you are making just click apply then it will be applied to your preview now as you can see we now have one a5 to the right and one a5 to the left okay so this is page one okay now let me just click okay here to close this window now if i move to second page you can see i have number two and i have number 350 if i go i'm supposed to have 449 if i go again let me zoom okay so i'm having 548 if i move to the next page i'm supposed to have 647 next page is supposed to be 746 so as you can see it is well formatted as book now this setting is made on your preview only the the document you are going to print the original document remains a5 okay so i can easily send this to printer and it will print as book normally so we are going to print front and back don't forget we are going to print front and back now go to the right top corner here and click on center of page okay so this document is ready to print now click on the print icon here and uh, click OK. All right. So don't forget that I'm not sending it to printer directly. I'm sending it to PDF. So if you are sending to printer, you choose your printer. So I'm sending it to PDF. So I want to make this doc one because by itself it is going to it is going to separate it. Okay. So I make it doc one and save. After saving, this will pop up. Then you can click continue. Okay, then you make this doc2. Okay, and save. I'm saving to desktop. Now that you have saved the two documents, now try to understand something here. I'm saving to PDF, but if you want to print directly to your printer, it will also work. So when you are printing to your printer, when you send the first one, it will prompt you to turn the paper so that you can print at the back. Now, as it is printing, from your printer the way it came out just take it and put it back to the tray then it is going to print but if you are not sure for now 
how to print you can test it with just five pages when you get it rightly then you can print all that now let's go to our pdf and let's see how it looks like so i'm having doc one and doc two as my pdf so i click on doc one then click on doc two also so let's do a comparison okay now you can see that my doc one i'm having two 449 well formatted as book 647 845 okay you can see that six from six i'm supposed to have seven here after 647 probably i'm supposed to have uh 746 but 746 is not going to be here it is going to be at the back so seven will be back in six and uh 46 will be back in 47 so it is going to be in the next document so we are supposed to have 548 here so you can see in this document we are having 548 now we are having 647 so this will be backing this but don't stress yourself if you are using pdf to print from here you can send to your printer if you print this as it comes out just take it to the tree again and print this second pdf then you can have your book completely all right this will be all for this tutorial if you like this tutorial please give me a thumb up on this video it is going to help a lot and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to this channel thank you for watching this tutorial